Menopause really marks the end of the reproductive life of a female where the ovaries start to shrink and you deplete estrogen and progesterone. So it would seem straightforward to then replace these two hormones, but it gets more complicated than that. Some risk factors for hormone replacement therapy uh, really became apparent in a study done which started in the early 90s that looked at long-term hormone replacement therapy. This was done by the Women's Health Initiative and lasted about 15 years. What it showed was that hormone replacement therapy actually increased slightly the amount of blood clots and strokes that occurred in people. And if you took it for a prolonged period of time, it increased your chances of breast cancer. The one positive came out of it was that it prevented, estrogen alone at least, prevented against osteoporosis. So most commonly today, hormone replacement therapy would be prescribed by clinicians to alleviate some of the symptoms of menopause, uh, things like night sweats and hot flashes. Um, but prolonged use really isn't, uh, does, doesn't really do a benefit any longer. So before you take hormone replacement therapy, um, some of the risk factors you, could, you should consider is whether you're gonna take estrogen alone or with progestin, which is a synthetic progesterone, um, what age you enter menopause, um, what's your current age, and then probably the most important is your family history. Do you have a family history of, of cancer? Do you have a family history of cardiovascular problems? Um, and then, you know, obviously you'd consult with a physician for all of this before you make that decision.